oddly enough, this story about this FDA baby recall, um, where I am in this area, it articulates incredibly close to something that I'm going through right now, although it has an eosinophil relation to all the food makes him allergic. He has these allergic reactions, so now he's on baby formula only. But that's in a nutritional, physiological, uh, gastrointestinal track. Um, if you go neurological, ecological, with physiological being considered, and my personal standpoint at the moment, the baby formula turns into polyscience, polymathematical formula, and would make sense as to solving the problem of why I am gaining so much weight for no reason, why my skin is not healing, why I'm no longer able to act in the way that I need to, uh, in the function that I need to, and why life is totally, for me, somewhere in that baby formula and not the nutritional standard, although that gets confusing with the imperial emperor penguin from the South Pole, and they use diet and nutrition at imperial standards for private counsel. But we're not going there. We're going in the broad spectrum public of they have some narrative. It never really adds up. But there are polymathematics and science council that works for the office of more important people, and those are the people that I actually need to get to in order to find genetic security and safety because the people and the humans have lost their minds. Um, so this baby formula uh, piece on the GMA, what you need to know is its exact words under the same area thought pattern Although the narrative might not be the same, it depends on which process or thought pattern is used. But for my case, there's only one thought pattern. It's physiological to ecological, um, biological, and the interaction um, For why is everything not working as it should and as designed? Will, for many, many years, struggled to grow and we didn't really understand why. And then as he got older and older, we realized that he was just having continuous allergic reactions to foods, almost all food. 16-year-old Will Rowan relies on one can of Elecare formula every day. He has an eosinophilic disease, causing digestive reactions to most foods. That's really the benefit of these types of formulas because they don't have intact proteins. They don't trigger an immune reaction that leads to the inflammation. But with That would be they don't trigger an emotion that actually wants to take into consideration any other possibility at the moment. Will's Elecare was from one of the lots of infant formula recalled last month. The recalls involved specific lots from three major formula brands, including Elementum, Similac, and Elecare, all manufactured in Sturgis, Michigan. So Will's mom, Claire, took to Facebook looking for safe cans not part of that recall. I was getting a lot of offers of help, but never... Now, here's where the formula di divides in actuality and in possibilities uh, for whatever, like, my, I, I really, if I was in the correct genetic safety zone and I was functioning properly and I had a really handsome, genetically secure, over six foot person I was designed for, um, I would never touch a cell phone or an app or an application, or an email, or anything designed by the evil, strange humans. 
and their species. Um, with whatever. So that would be completely deleted out of the whatever. Um, but because I've been stuck in this time frame, in this particular storyline with all of the disasters and the dirty laundry heap that have gone along with it, um... I don't, when I use technology, I'm not looking for social media, like, I'm not looking for the public to comment. I really don't care. If they died today, I wouldn't know. So, I'm not looking for feedback from them on opinion pieces or, like, what they think, because it doesn't matter. The world's not working, and asking for opinions is not really going to help me at the moment, um, if they're so far away that I can't even touch them. So... Um, when the social media interaction, mine does not work the same way. I have no idea how the back end of my technology works. Haven't the first clue, unbeknownst to me. But I hear that some humans, their technology works differently. I hear some humans, like this woman, will start a chat room, will start all sorts of things and find support. I wouldn't know what to find support on. Do you know how to find a really tall, handsome, genetically secure, over six foot man that's been looking for me his whole life? It's the only question I would ever ask a human where they could actually be useful. Any sound I've made up until now is totally useless. Just trying to get to the point, which I'm still not at. So my technology doesn't work the way that they, they speak on technology, even though we're in the same, I guess you call it flag, perhaps the same quarter of the circle. My technology does, and products do not match what they have access to. Everything that was out in people's homes right now was recalled. I just feel grateful to have people help me out there. They're all around the world. So, Claire, what was your reaction? I was crying. I was overwhelmed. Because the post was shared so many times, I was getting offers, and then I was getting requests. Assemble the Mom Brigade, a grassroots formula. Like, this doesn't exist for me in actuality. I haven't had anything like this that says... We know who he is, we know where he is, we know here you are. Didn't happen. So, but I know I've heard stories where this exists for some form of human interaction. Just no idea where. But I know that there's like this wizard somewhere in the background that's in charge of all things technology. Right, so, I mean, whatever. Perhaps he's a mind reader. That would be really helpful. And like, I really don't need this to be as embarrassing as it feels at the moment. Exchange. Claire found herself coordinating with other moms amid supply shortages. The very next six cans I got... I drove and gave those to another mom who didn't have any. And once a patient gets established with a formula, we want to continue that formula long term as we often come up with a very specialized composition that those the lead. On an articulated story, I have a very personal formula that's supposed to be kept privy along with the genetically secure over six foot person I belong to. But for some reason... The non-binary, non-binary story and life frame I was built for got somehow entrapped or imprisoned in a like, high-profile whatever with some section of humanity I really didn't want to entangle with. I just wanted to go to happily ever after, non-binary format. But the humans and their new mental disease with binary. The amount of issues associated with delivering that formula to the patient. They have stable electrolytes and hydration. Once we found that there was a need to switch, 
we started recommending alternatives. And in some cases, there were shortages of these formulas. We're coordinating hundreds now of people around the country who are desperate for help. We're overnight shipping anywhere we can. Both doctors and parents are calling for a stronger backup plan. There's no stockpile. You know, it's, it's one of those things where if, if a recall happens, it's like, oh, you're out of luck. Yeah, there's no backup plan. This is not a problem that the mom brigade can solve, but I don't think we can stop. She calls it a mom brigade. No idea what that is actually like indicative of. Stop. All right, a big thanks to our Geo Benitez for that report. And you can check out the lot numbers on packaging to see if a product was recalled. Abbott Nutrition is issuing refunds. If you're not sure, go to SimilacRecall.com. All right, coming up next here on GMA3, Dr. Jen Ashton has some new strategies. It's star 1978, star 8378, Nicole Ketterose, it's Earth, Solar System, Milky Way, Universe, Galaxy is Broken. It's Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, Woman 361, and today is March 11th, 2022.